We are lucky enough uh, to be live with the No Limit Soccer Academy inside Modesto, California. It's one of our home bases of players and uh, coaching staff as well. Uh, we are very excited to have Mr. DeHart with us today. Uh, he'll be live here in about three minutes. and He's asked to get the session started today. If you guys could start with juggling and we will start uh, watching you and we will come in in about two or three minutes with Mr. DeHart's session. Need a soccer, soccer ball, couple cones and a little bit of area. It's very adaptable of how the session works and we really hope everybody's uh, well and doing good. Thank you so much. Awesome. So we're, we're here doing um, our third session and uh, very excited. I hope all you guys are excited to be out here today and we're going to train this. So it's going to be tiring just like we've done in our other or our last two sessions. We need eight cones and a soccer ball and then a little bit of space. And I want to make sure everybody understands this session. This is an interactive training session. So we're going to put you through the actual training. We'll explain the exercises. We'll show you how we want the cones laid out for you to work around, but then we'll do whatever number of reps we would do in a training session. So it'll be about 45 minutes. The exercises are as difficult or as simple as you wanna make them. If you wanna go slow, they're going to be simpler, but if you challenge yourselves, they're going to be different or difficult. So. This session is going to be appropriate for all level of players. That said, we're about ready to get started. I want to introduce to you, we're, we're really happy today to be joined by Daniel Faragoso. Daniel is one of the top uh, 2006 players in the country, not in this area, but in the entire country. And so he's going to show you some of uh, his stuff and that's an absolutely great player for you guys to emulate. Those of you that are his te teammates, don't make fun of him. Don't make him shy or nervous, all right? So if you're ready to go, I'll give you just a minute to grab your stuff and I'll show you how we're going to set this uh, first exercise up. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, man. All right, everybody, this is how we're going to warm up. This is how we're going to get started here. We're going to do a little figure eight exercise. With this exercise, you need four cones. I want the first cone placed here. Then I want you to take just two steps and lay another cone directly out in front of it. Then I want you to go off on a little 45 degree angle and take two more steps. If you're younger, take three because mine are kind of big. And then do the same thing over here. Just 
one, two, or little guys, one, two, three. And that's what it looks like. Can everybody see that at home? I can see you, so make sure you're telling me, yes, we see it, we're ready to go. Here's the exercise. This is how we're warming up. We're gonna go from that first cone. We're gonna go with good explosive speed right here to the very first cone. Go slow for me, Dan, right there. And I want you to throw a move, throw another one, throw a move. Then I want you to go off to the right. And then at the figure eight around that cone, go ahead, buddy. Around that cone, back to the center, throw a move. And back here, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. And go the second way, throw a move, go your figure eight. Back to the center, throw a move and back out and that will be one rep. We're going to do five reps of this to warm ourselves up today, all right? So it should be tiring. Listen to me, let's make sure that we're explosive in and out and when we go our transitions. Our transitions are when we go from one cone to another, one space on the field to another space on the field. Are you ready to go, bud? Yeah. All right, we're doing five of these. Let me get out of the way. We'll let Dan do the work here. Everybody at home is ready to go. And go. There, figure eight here. And back to the center. Throw a move. Hold, 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 hold. Go. Second direction. Good. Throw a move. And you're back. And that's one set, everybody. One set. We got four more of those. Make sure you're working for me. Younger players, we're waiting for you to finish up a little bit. Second set for us here, second set for you there. Older players, let's be sharp on this. Are we ready? Go. Good. Tight, Dan, tight around those on your figure eight. And hold, 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 hold. And second direction, go. This is to your left, everybody. Good, and relax. Let's add something to this in that break, and we're taking a little break there because we have some younger players. Let's box the ball a little bit. Box the ball in between. So you get back from the first round, box it until I say go for the second. Okay. All right? Yeah. We've done two. We got three more here. Again, just warming ourselves up. Number three, and go. Throw a move. Tight around that cone. Throw a move. Good. Box it for me. And go to the left. Good, tight. I like how he's using the outside of his foot to be tight around that on the figure eights and relax. Give me two more sets, everybody. What a great day to be out here. Weather's perfect. Are we ready? Fourth set, still warming up. And go. Tight, tight cut there, tight cut there. That a boy. Good. And box it for me, box it. Waiting for everybody to get down. We're going to the left side this time. And go. Throw a move. Tight, tight with our figure eight. Nice. And relax. Everybody's got one more of those in them. Everybody's breathing. You're starting to breathe hard. That's got to feel good to be out of the house and working. You got one more in you, Dan? More tiring than you thought, huh? Are we ready? Everybody at home ready? This is our last one. Challenge yourselves, everybody. Challenge yourselves on these exercises. Box it for me, Dan. Box it. And go. Tight, tight, tight. Little cut, little cut, little cut. That a boy. Good. Box it for me. Going to the left this time. Go. Good. Oh, I like that. Nice, good, very good. Take a rest, relax a little bit. Excellent, everybody. Everybody should be breathing now. Make sure you're warmed up. I want to emphasize this. I will tell you on some of the exercises what kind of move I want. But on a lot of these, like here, I didn't tell him what move to do. I just told him to make sure that he's challenging himself on all these, all right? Let's get started on our second exercise. Here's how it's going to set up. 
Camera people, can you see me? Are we good? All good. All right. So listen, we've all, all, all five of these exercises we're doing today are brand new, but they all have a little variation of things we've done uh, before to give a little continuity to our training here. This one, we're just going to use a simple cone line, except it's important. Everybody's with me on this. Let's put one cone down and then give me one, two, three steps for big people. It'll be four steps for littler people. And then lay a cone. Then one, lay a cone. 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 So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you only have five, if you only have four, let's do that. And then our last cone, one, two, three. So this is a little bit different for us, everybody. And what we've done here is we've given this starting point here and then an ending point with a little more space in between. And we put that space in between because one of the things I want to talk about today is us being explosive and powerful in Demuth. If Dan is working, Dan, scoot the other side for me so they can see it right there. If Dan is working to get to that first green cone, that would be a defender. That's his first defender that he's got to take on. We want to close that ground with pace and speed and power. He doesn't close the space leisurely and slowly because another defender is coming from behind. So that's kind of what we're emphasizing on this exercise, all right? So take a second to make sure your cones are set up. All right, everybody, here we go. This is gonna be difficult. I wanna be very clear on this. So first cone, so the starting cone, any way you wanna get there, all right? With the dribble, any foot, any way you wanna get there. But then through the cones, in this case, it's my green cones, I want you to use right foot only, only your right foot going through. So that's gonna force you to use the inside of your right, the outside of your right, whatever surface you need to use, all right? Right foot only. Do you see it, Dan? Yeah. Ready to go? A set is up and back. We'll give a little delay at the other end. All right, everybody, I'm ready to go. Let's train it here. Right foot only. First set, we're doing three of these with the right foot. And go. Right foot, right foot, good. Inside, outside touch is good. And a little pause, a little pause, box it, box it. And let's go back, right foot only. That a boy, right foot only. Nice. And relax, that's one set. We've got two more of the right foot. Everybody's ready to go. Let's train this, let's be tired. Are we ready, Dan? Right foot only, inside, outside surfaces. Ready, go. Nice, good. And come on back. We're giving that little delay down here. Good and relax. Good. Everybody's back. Everybody's breathing. Concentrate on that right foot. You know what's coming next. It'll be that left foot. Let's do one more with the right. Are we ready? And go. Tight as you can be. Good. And go. Right foot only, coming back, everybody. Very nice and relax. Good, breathe a little bit. Listen, this is important, and we've talked about this in our other sessions. Remember, you want to limit your space. So when Dan, I'm giving you a chance to rest, to walk through this a little bit. Give us the first cone, buddy. The first cone, just the first cone. The, the first cone there, yeah. Listen, so that touch, I want, I keep telling him to be as tight around the cones as possible. That's what we want. We want him to be very tight, very tight. If I, sometimes I do this to the guys. I'll put like my foot here. You ready? Go. In between the cone and my foot. Just to mess with them. Sometimes we can lay more cones out. But the stronger player you are, the tighter your space needs to be. We ready? Yeah. Left foot's what's on board now. We got three sets. Left foot only, inside, outside surfaces. Ready, go. Oh boy, good. And go. Good, and relax. This player's right foot and left foot look about the same to me. 
We'll have to guess what his predominant foot is after this. Second set, everybody's ready to go. And go, left foot only. Nice. And go, coming back everybody, left foot only. Very good. Breathe a little bit. He's ready to go right now. Not all of us are. Almost ready. We got one more time. Up and back. Left foot only. And go. Come on, everybody. Your last time. Left foot only. And go. Come on back. Good. And relax. Get breath, Dan. All right, everybody, now, those of you that have been with me the last couple of weeks and those of you that actually play for me or train with me, what's coming next is always to allow you any move you want because this is your game, it's your exercise. So we're going to go three more sets. A set, again, is up and back and any way or any dribbling move you want, right foot, left foot, right to left, whatever you want, but I will require it to be fast and I will require it to be tight. Are we ready? Everybody out there is breathing. Deep for breathing. Are we ready? Any move you want. Try things, guys. Try things. Good. Go. Come on. Can't be wrong. Can't be wrong. Good. Box it. Coming back. Go. Anything you want. There you go. Trying things. Very nice. Relax. Relax. I like what he did there. It's all on his own, and I think that's important for you guys to gain that comfort. Let's go up and back again. Everybody's breathing. Everybody's ready to go. And go. Good. Come on back. Come on back. And relax. Let's go one more time up and back. Stronger, more experienced players. Listen, let's challenge you a little bit, all right? In this, I got to see at least two spins through the tight cones. At least two spins through the tight cones. Relax. And we're going. Last time through. Let's go. There it is. There it is. It's like eating your vegetables. Get it out of the way early. Come on. Good. Relax, relax. Boxing it. We're coming back, everybody. Give me at least two spins on this. And go. Fast in. Good. 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 Nice and relax. Good. Listen, I want to do this. I want to do this one more time up and back with any move. All right? And one of the things I want to make sure that you're all understanding, because listen, this is training. But I also want to make sure I'm not just doing exercises out here. I want to tell you why we're doing them so you can go back later. Dan, go to that the first green cone and turn towards me, towards this way. Yeah, listen. So to me, this is part of the exercise that really matters. Once he's beaten this cone here, the last of the green cones, he's beaten a defender and he's got space. And I want to make sure when you do, throw that last move around that one, you're explosive from here to there in that little short distance. That's when you gain your, your space between a defender, all right? So let's do it up and back one more time, any move you want, but I really want you to concentrate on that part of it. Are we ready? Did you get all I said? Yeah. All right. And go, so explode in. Then little touches, little touches, little touches, little touches. And then explode out there, go, go, go. See what I want? Yeah. Explode out of that. All right, let's come back last time. And everybody explode in, go. Little touches, little touches, little touches. Coming and go, go, go. I want more there, I want more there. Come back here, come back here. Go about three cones, three. Go right there, get through them. And on that last one, explode out of here. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. There you go. That's what I wanna see. That's what I wanna see out of all you guys, right? Cause you've done your move, you've beaten someone. Don't give them a second chance. Really well done, Dan. Come over here so we, everybody can see you. There we are. All right, everybody grab a little water, relax a little bit, and we'll get set up for our next exercise. Great job, everybody. Great job at home. Dan's never gonna speak to me again. 
We're gonna set up. We're gonna set up right here with a square. Okay, um, players, as they're come. adjusting and everything, let's make sure that we uh, understand we've got about 30 minutes left in the session here. Some of you are on your six or seven session, so make sure you're stretching. Some of you are just starting. Make sure that you're stretching. But one of the biggest issues we're going to have getting back on the field is keeping that heart rate up, making sure we're going to be game fitness. And the only thing you can do is push yourself individually to get to that game fitness in through these drills, okay? Good work, Mr. Dart. Okay. Hear me? All right, everybody. So everybody's get their breath back. Everybody's breathing again here a little bit. All right, let's continue on. You've seen me in different sessions use a square. I like to use a square. There's so much we can do with it. We're going to change it up a little bit. We've laid our square out here. Let me let me count it out for you. Decent size. It's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Let's go six paces, and it's a square. That would mean six each way. For those of you that are still doing your math work. All right, so we've got a square, about six paces around, or squared. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to start, you can start any cone you like, and we're going to go with a similar to what we were just doing here, with our little touches, all right? So we're gonna ask the players here, we're gonna use right foot only, okay? Right foot only, and I want you to go the direction so your right foot this first time is on the outside. So see how Dan is facing here? And it's gonna be right foot only. Big key for me is you've got, again, transition points. So when Dan gets, go slow for me, buddy. When Dan goes, hey, a little faster, right there. When Dan gets to that point, that's a transition point, and he's going to transition from here to there. And I don't want to loop. Yeah, I want it very sharp, very straight, right? So you're drawing straight lines in between these cones. The first time around is right foot. You'll get back here. We'll go the other way, left foot only. All right? Everybody ready to go? You got your grid laid out? Listen, if you've got more than one person in your family training, just have one start here. And one start there. If you got three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right foot only. Sharp cuts around the grid. Are we ready? Let me get in a good spot. All right, my friend. With pace, right foot only. Go. Cut. Yep. Cut. Right foot only. Let's go left foot only, the other way. Here we go, the other way. Cut, yep. Cut. More cut, more cut. And relax, right there, good. That's one set, one set. We got three more of those. Right foot first time around, left foot the second time around. I keep hesitating to say around because I, want, I don't want it to be loopy. I want it to be sharp. Really emphasize that for me, Dan. Are we ready, everybody? This is our second time through. Sharp right foot only. And go! And sharp right there. Good. And sharp right there. Don't let yourself drift, Dan. Don't let yourself drift. And left foot. He's already going. Come on, everybody. And sharp right there. Sharp right there. Good. Left foot only. Relax. Got two more, everybody. Two more. Everybody's breathing. Everybody's ready to go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It's more difficult. Listen, this is more difficult than a team training session because in a team training session, you'd have three or four, hopefully no more than that, people going after you and giving you a, a built-in break. Here, we got to take some awkward silence to give you a break. Right foot only. He's breathing hard. I'm watching him. He's breathing hard. He's not as fit because it's this whole deal. We ready? Go! Come on, everybody. And sharp right there. And sharp right there. Sharp. Not yet. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Left foot only. Go! All right. 
Good, good. This is so simple, everybody. Good. It's simple, so it's got to be absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. We got one more. One more. Got it? Last time around. Everybody's focused. And go. And cut it right there. Lose that loop. Cut it right there. Relax, relax, relax. Go left foot only. I'm going to get in his way here. We're social distancing, but I'm going to get in his way. Are we ready? Go. And it's got to be right there. Right there. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Go diagonal for me. Go diagonal. Go diagonal. And go. And right there is what we're looking for. And relax, Dan. Really well done. Listen, everybody. Again, these exercises seem simple until you've got someone like me out here and I'm asking for details and I'm asking for quality of what you do. And whether your coaches are doing that or not, I'm sure most of them are, you have to demand that of yourself, right? And you know, tighter spaces, better players. Let's make this a little more difficult. I'm gonna make the grid a step smaller each way. You wanna grab that one for me, Dan? Just a, a just a, you know, a little step. Yeah, that'll work. All right. We got two more reps of this, maybe three. You know how that works with me. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Except this time, every time you get to a cone, I want you to cut all the way around it using the outside of your foot. So go real slow. Go slow. We'll show. The first one. And now when you get there, cut. Let's go to the outside. Let's go to the outside. And cut, 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 cut. Good. And then go. And you'll cut, 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 cut. So he's using the inside of his foot, all right? We'll go the first one using the inside of your foot. Then we'll go the next one using the outside of your foot for cuts. Everybody ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Tight cut using the inside of your away foot here. Otherwise you'll fall. Are we ready? Go, everybody's working. Come on now. Tight, tight, Dan. Good, and explode here. And then tight. And explode there. And then tight. And explode there. And relax, breathe in, we're going the other way. This would be the other foot. And go! Come on, everybody. Tight around there. Good, come on, buddy, come on. Tight around there. Good. Tight here. Good, and you're back. Didn't like the last touch. Breathe a little bit, breathe a little bit. Everybody's breathing at home. Got one more set. Listen, bud, this time I want you to do the same thing except I want you to use the outside of your foot. So that means when he goes this way, it's going to be inside and then around. So it's the outside of your foot, everybody. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone at home, I hope? Yeah? Little kids in the background nod. Makes sense? All right, using the outside of your foot. Are we ready? Go! And a cut, 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 good. And a cut, 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 yes. Explosive out of it. Cut, 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 good. And relax, we're going the other way, other foot. Everybody's ready, go. Good, Dan, good, Dan, tight. Keep challenging yourself, everybody's relaxing. You know what that means? I think we'll do one more. Your choice. You can go inside of the foot or outside of the foot. It's up to you. But again, please emphasize tight. Coaches out there, hold on, I'm off camera. I'll be back. I'm back. You can always put a cone here and here. That's all you coaches that have a million cones that we haul around. If I do this, he's gonna have to make sure that he's very tight around this, all right? We'll just do it on this one, Dan, so everybody can see. This is our last time, everybody. 
Either foot tight around. Ready. Go. Tight, 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 tight. Yes. Tight. See your task there. Tight, Dan. Come on, come on. Yes, good. And we're going to go the other way. That'll come up on your first one. And go. Last time around, everybody. Nice. Good. You got two more, Dan. One more round. One more round is all. And explode. Explode home. Get there. a boy. Good. And relax. Very nicely done, everybody. Everybody's got to be tired. I know you are. Because this one over here that keeps hiding is tired for sure. All right. Grab a little water. Everybody grab some water before we get into this last exercise. Yeah, Great quick. job, everybody. We're really, really watching, getting a lot of really good comments from the coaches coming in. Keep up the good work. Are they working hard, Lonnie? They are really working hard. Some of these young lads have been on here since 8 a.m. this morning. The ones that have just come on are just going left and right. And what I've seen more than anything, Coach, I see a lot of parents helping their players. Oh, that's awesome. It's a lot easier for them. You know that's my big thing right now, time. right? It's getting parents out there. So I think that's where we're at. That's perfect. All right, guys. Take a little rest. You all right? Yeah. All right, listen, everybody, this setup. Let's just make it a teeny bit bigger for you guys at home. Same square. You can leave it. It's up to you. <laughs> you hear the cow? All right, and then let's Put another square in the middle. And give yourself enough room so you're not hitting the cones. There we go. So this is just about a one pace square in the middle. Just one, one, all the way around. And listen, in our first session, we did an exercise like this that I think is my favorite uh, exercise that we do. I think I told you at the time I learned it from my friend Alberto Montoya, Albertine Montoya, and kind of got me back into it. So we do it all the time. I want to change it up a little bit today, a little bit different, something you haven't seen before from us. We're going to ask the players with the soccer ball to be in the middle between the cones, any size you choose. And you're going to come in slow, but at speed here. You're gonna throw a move. We're gonna start out with a scissor here. So I'm gonna ask Dan to always do a scissor. He's gonna do a scissor and he's gonna go out one direction or the other. You choose, go. So he chose that one. Then he's gonna pull it back and he's back in the middle. Scissor and then he's out here. Pull it back in and out, back in, back out and relax. And that's one set, all right? So we're asking everybody to work on their scissor. If that's your absolute best move and you want to work on another move, that's okay. But we're going to do the scissor here on this one. Are we ready? You breathing? You okay, buddy? Okay. Everybody at home is ready to go. Focus for me, everybody. I'm watching. I want to see you at pace. And I want to see sharp, crisp moves. Are we ready? Good. Go. You're in. Throw something. And you're out. Back in. Back out. Back in. Back out. Back in. Back out. And relax. Nice. Let's give me three more sets of this, and then we'll take a break before our last exercise. Any move you want on this one. Any move you want. Any move you want. Are we ready? Everybody's ready at home. And go. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Good. Back in. Back in, bud. Good. Good. Can't be wrong. Try things. Try things. Nice. And relax. Two more sets, everybody. On this one, let's do some sort of spin move. Any spin you want, but a spin each time. Breathe. We got time. Relax. <laughs> All right, a spin 
four of them, they can be the same spin, but spin every time. Again, sharp, ready, go. Nice, come on, come on, and back in. Your transitions, everybody, is the transition right there. Good, and this is a transition right here. Good, and relax, good. One more for me, everybody, one more. You know on this last one, anything you want, but I want four different moves, four different moves. Take a second, get them in your head, four different moves. You got it? Your four best moves. Are we ready? Everybody at home, yep, go. Okay, 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 come on. Good. I've seen that from you a million times on the field. I'm always grateful for it. Back in. Good, good, and relax. Very nice, everybody. That's our key, is our transitions every time. It's stops and goes, it's left to right each time, all right? Good, take a little relaxation. Let's do the last exercise. You guys are doing great. Everybody's got to be getting tired. Give me about five more minutes, about five more minutes of your time, everybody. Let's set up this last one. We're gonna go, we'll go right here. We need eight cones, everybody, eight cones on this one. And my cones have to match. We know, we know. <laughs> it matters, Lonnie. It matters. All right, everybody, let's lay out these cones about two paces on each one. Hopefully you can see it. Watch this. I can do it backwards as well. I always, I always joke with the players, or they joke with me, it's probably more accurate. As long as I've been doing this, I still struggle to lay out a straight cone line. Done pretty well here though, not bad. All right, listen, I did not make this huge because everybody's tired. Obviously you can adjust it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller as far as length. This is really simple. It's just how we're gonna finish off. We're gonna finish off with three sets. You got three of them in you? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do three sets. Come on up here to the start. Yeah, you'll need the ball. You yeah, got five on this side. Just take that. All right, are we ready? Tell me, we'll, we'll take a second, and you're gonna go two grids up. So go, one, two. And then you're gonna switch and go, get all the way to it. And you're gonna switch and go back one. And then you're gonna switch and go two, one, two, back, go one, go two, and then turn and go all the way back. There it is. Did they see it? It can be bigger if you'd like it bigger. I'll give you time to set it up. My big key, again, Dan, go two. It's right here, right there. That's that transition, and I want it sharp there. Then get back one. This is so small. Go and Sharp, sharp there, I can't talk. I wanted it so sharp I couldn't even get it out. That's the key to me and that's what we keep emphasizing today. All right, we got three of these everybody. Three of these, sharp, tight moves. Any yeah, any, any way you wanna get there. This is just your magic everybody, your magic. Are we ready? And go, two grids. Back one, two, back one, two. All the way back. Very nice. Relax, relax, relax. Everybody's ready. Second set. Go. Two grids. Back one. Two grids. Back one. Two. All the way back. All the way back. And relax. Good. We got two of them or one of them? What do you guys think? Yeah, I heard the one little guy. One little guy in Los Angeles said he wants to do two more. Got it. Two more. 
Full pace, everybody. Full pace. And go. Two grips. One back. Two grips. One back. Two grips for me, Dan. Come on, buddy. Relax, relax. One more and we're done today. This is a spot where you can say you won. We're almost there. Last set. Everybody's focused. Go. Two grips. One back. Two grids, sharp, Dan, sharp, Dan. Two grids, one back. And relax, really well done. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed it. That was for almost 45 minutes of work there. Step there, Dan, it's perfect. I want to thank Daniel for his work. It was more than he thought. He's a tired, he's a tired young man right now. Listen, all of you guys should be. We're not doing as much, but use these sessions. Go back. We did this session. You can use this session again, but I love how you're all getting out there. I want to give you a quick heads up. Next week in our session at this time, I want everybody to have a partner. And that's a partner. That's not a teammate because you can't get together. So that's a mom or a dad, an amazingly fit grandparent or a sibling, whatever it is. But I want two people for next week so that we can expand this a little bit, all right? Dan, thank you so much for your work. Give him a hand at home, everybody, on your muted Fantastic deals. Fantastic job. Right? Fantastic job. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you, guys. And your guys' staff. Everybody on the phone call, one quick second before we leave, everybody. A couple things. This is Project Hope. Going into next week, we will have training sessions available on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you can get access to that through Mr. Dave DeHart at No Limit Soccer Academy. So you have got to go through that particular option to get to those particular trainings. But our goal is to be able to get the kids out, get the families out, and keep them as active as possible. So I'd really appreciate everybody on this call. I'm going to unmute you to really say a big thank you to Mr. Dave DeHart for the give back that he's done for our to all of our kids. Thank you so much, Mr. Dave. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Thank, thank Dan. He did all the work, everybody. He did the work. Believe me, Dan. Good. Thanks, guys. Chat, chat away. Say hello to everybody that you haven't seen for a few weeks.